Hi folks and welcome back. It's the 4th of July and the Covid restrictions have been eased slightly today in England to allow campsites to reopen. I've taken that as a cue for Maggie and I to get out for an overnighter. We've come out by canoe because I've been dying to try out my new Broadland 15 that I bought a couple of weeks ago and hadn't had a chance to get it into the river until today. Uh, it's a lovely boat, an absolute joy to paddle. We found a nice little spot by the side of the river, a nice quiet spot well away from everything. Yeah, very windy, trees are creaking like mad and it's only supposed to get windier so we'll just have to see how things go. I've set my hammock up as you can see behind me. I've got a, a new tarp I wanted to try out and uh, the hammock is the one that I modified recently. It's a Hennessy hammock with a zip which I sewed on so um, hopefully that should, be, that should be really good for tonight. Yeah, all good. So this is home for tonight. This is a war bonnet superfly tarp. Uh, I bought this recently and it's great. Very light, seal nylon and lots of really cool features that I like a lot and very stable. You know, it's really windy today and that thing's just sitting there. I've just got it set up with one half of the door at the head end because the wind is coming from this direction here and that will just block it and keep it off the hammock itself, keep me warmer, stop me getting blown around quite so much. And then the other side, I've just uh, lifted up so that I've got this bit a bit more open. And then I'm gonna have my fire over that way somewhere. It just gives me a bit more room to get in and out of the hammock. If uh, the weather does get any worse, if the wind picks up any more, I can always drop this back down and just close it off and create myself a, a really good little shelter from that wind. My hammock is a Hennessy Explorer ASIM Deluxe. This was originally the bottom entry version, you know, where you have to climb in through the bottom and um, climb back out again. I modified it by putting in a zip and if you're interested I have a video on how to do that. Um, just makes it easier for me because I use an under blanket rather than a sleeping pad inside. The under blanket I'm using was made by my buddy Ginge. Um, I'll put a link to his Instagram underneath because he makes these to order if you're interested in a really good quality down um, under blanket. This one's probably going to be a bit warm for tonight. It's a four season one. On the top half of me I've just bought a sleeping bag for tonight which I'll probably just unzip and throw it over me as a quilt. Maggie sporting her new summer hairdo. <laughs> yeah, she's got proper little chicken legs underneath all that fur. Um, it's just started to rain a bit, so um, I'm just I've just ducked inside the tarp under the tarp for a couple of minutes. I let it pass over. I don't think it'll last long. It's not that heavy, but it's the sort of rain that, although it's not heavy, it does soak you. So I'll let that blow over and I'll carry on cutting up some firewood. Got some nice things with me for, for dinner tonight, looking forward to. So um, I will get on and start cooking a little bit later on. It's only sort of like mid-afternoon at the moment, so it's quite nice. We got out here in good time, got set up, and um, it just means that we can relax a little bit and enjoy where we are. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. Lockdown has been 
Oh, it's just gone on, hasn't it? I really feel for anybody living in Leicester. For those of you uh, who don't know, we had the restrictions or a lot of restrictions lifted. You know, we could we could go, we could travel, we could exercise more, we could we could see people. Stop shops and things were starting to open up, and then there was uh, another spike in um, cases in Leicester, and they decided the government decided to lock Leicester down, which is really unfair but necessary, I guess. Yeah. So I'm I'm really lucky to be able to to be able to get out. Got a decent pile of firewood there. That should last me most of the evening. There's plenty more around if I need it. There's a few more bits I didn't cut up over there. I've got some medium sized bits there to get the to get the heat going in the fire. And then I've got some thinner bits on the top there. I'm gonna have my fire in that little clearing there. And I'm a good distance away from my tarp and stuff. So nothing's gonna get hold. And that should be just the job. I bought a chair with me so I can sit by the fire and relax this evening. And it's just my kneeling mat out of the canoe and a thermarest chair kit. So the kneeling mat just slips inside the chair kit instead of a thermarest. So I haven't got to bring one with me because I don't need it because I'm in the hammock. And it's, uh, you know, it's just really comfortable. You're sitting on the ground, obviously, but you've got back support and that's the, that's the most important thing. So you can actually sit back and, and relax and get comfortable.
I haven't done much filming for the last hour or so. Uh, Maggie and I have just been relaxing and enjoying the afternoon, listening to the birds. The wind has calmed down a bit, which is nice, but uh, I'm starting to get pretty hungry. It's just gone six o'clock and I'm going to get some dinner on the go. I'm having bangers and mash with onion gravy. So the first thing I want to do is get the onions on, get them cooked so that I can put them to one side while I cook everything else. Another great thing about using a canoe barrel to put all your gear in is that it gives you a table that you can use to cut on and put things on and uh, it's just so much easier than working on the ground in the mud. I strapped my canoe barrel to my LK35 frame, a really good robust pack frame that you can use for carrying just about anything. It's good for carrying firewood if you've collected a load of firewood and um, Obviously it works really well with a canoe barrel. I'm going to fry the onions in the little steamer dish that you get with a zebra billy can. A little bit of oil in there. In with the onions. While the onions are cooking down, I'm just going to collect some water to cook the potatoes in. I'm going to take water out of the river, so I brought my Liberty bottle along uh, to filter that water and the scavenger hose that it comes with. Uh, as you saw before, the surface of the river is just covered in duckweed at the moment, so I need to get below that, otherwise it's just going to clog my filter up. So the uh, scavenger hose is ideal for that, it'll sink down and I can take the cleaner water from underneath. I'm going to take the onions off here now, but just keep them nearby so they stay warm. And then I'm going to get the sausages on. I've got four Cumberland sausages in here, so they should be nice and peppery. And I'm just going to cook them straight on the grill here. I'm going to have three of these, and Maggie's going to have one with her dinner. She's got... Um, She's got her, her normal food with her anyway, but this will just be a nice little extra for her.
Right, I've got some butter with me, which has melted slightly, but I'm sure it'll be all right. And I've got some milk. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I even remembered salt and pepper to season it. It's smelling so good. You're getting hungry, Maggie. The sausages are nearly done, so I'm just going to do the the gravy. I've got the water from the potatoes in here. It's not a huge amount, but it'll be enough. And then I've just bought some instant gravy powder, the Bisto Best one, which is just as good as you can make at home anyway, I think. And then in with the onions. Had yours. <laughs> I nearly forgot. I've got a cider to have with my dinner. Pretty good. Apples, pigs. They go well together. Cheers. Ooh. That's dry. Lovely. There you go, go.
It's been a really nice evening. Had some good food. Didn't actually finish eating until about quarter to 10. <laughs> and then by the time I've washed up and got everything tidied up and put away, it's probably about quarter past 10, half past 10 now. So uh, I'm probably not gonna to be too much longer to bed. I'm gonna finish my cider off, just enjoy this fire for a little bit and, uh, and turn in. I think Maggie's quite happy. She's uh, just mostly sort of dozed and slept, <laughs> but that's, that's pretty much what she does these days. You know, she's getting on, she's nearly eight. That's quite, quite old for a new fee. Well, it's getting, getting old for a new fee. And um, yeah, she's definitely slowed down in her old age. She'll sleep underneath the hammock with me. I've put her bed there and I'll just tie her. I'll tie her, um, her lead to, uh, to my canoe barrel just so that she can't go wandering off in the middle of the night. Um, you know, she's, she's a bit daft sometimes and she does do things like that and then gets herself lost or tangled up around something. So at least then I'll know that she's, she's safe or at least I'll hear her if she tries to wander off. She'll be dragging a barrel behind her. Yeah. Right, I'm going to glug this and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. folks. I slept pretty well actually, very comfortable. Uh, I was working up a few times during the night due to the wind. The wind picked up overnight, it's really windy this morning. I've just made a cup of coffee which is lovely and I'm about to get some breakfast organized. I've got some family stuff to do today so really it's just going to be a matter of uh, eating and, and getting things packed away and then heading off. Uh, unfortunately this strong wind that we've got this morning is going to be blowing right in our faces on the paddle back. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be quite a strong headwind, which will make things interesting.
There you go, princess. eggs and smoked mackerel like fishy bacon right we're going to get things packed away and uh, tied it up around here and get going there is a little bit of sun coming out but I don't hold up much hope <laughs> I've put the place back to how it was when we got here. There are trampled nettles, there's a clearing, and there's an area where my fire was, but I've got rid of, you know, all of the embers and everything and just scuffed it over. So it looks, well, it's minimum impact. Uh, nature will take care of the rest. Other people do come and camp at this spot. There were two other fire pits or fire areas here when I got here. So, um, you know, obviously other people use this area and there was some, some wood stacked up as well. I've left uh, the wood that we didn't burn uh, on that wood pile, so whoever comes here next, there's a little bit of wood to get started. Yeah, it's been a lovely, lovely evening. Good food, nice to spend a bit of time with Mags and a bit of peace and tranquility after lockdown. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.